Hey guys, welcome back to the Destinations channel. And that's right, I said the Destinations channel. We have rebranded the channel to call it Destinations with Sal and Debbie, since Debbie, my wife, has taken much more of a prominent role in the channel and is appearing in a lot more of our videos. I'm so happy to have made this change, and I'm so happy that she's in our videos now as well. So you've booked your Carnival Cruise, and now you want to talk about vaccination and testing requirements. I know lots of people have questions, so we're going to go over those when I come back right after this. Welcome back and thanks for staying through the intro. As always, please take a moment and click that subscribe button. Click the little bell notification. That way YouTube will let you know every time we upload a brand new video. Our analytics tells us that Actually, only about 10% of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribers. By subscribing, you really help out our channel. It is totally free to you, and it really means a lot to us. So please take a moment and click that subscribe button if you like cruising and you love our videos. So today we're going to talk about vaccination and testing requirements for Carnival Cruise Lines. Now, the information I'm going to give you is accurate as of today, February 4th, 2022, and while we believe this information is going to be accurate for the foreseeable future, I also strongly recommend Carnival's website at carnival.com to see whether or not any changes have been made for your cruise. Now, for the sake of this video, we're going to break this video up into two parts. The first part is going to be for fully vaccinated guests, and we'll talk about them in a second. And the second part is going to be for those of you who already have approved an unvaccinated voyage. Now, Carnival put out a press release about two weeks ago saying that from now on, there's not going to be any more of those approvals. They are only going to sail with vaccinated guests. But there are some of you who already have approval to sail unvaccinated due to medical reasons. So we're going to go over those as well. So let's talk about vaccinated guests and what that means. Vaccinated guests means you received all of your vaccination shots at least 14 days prior to your cruise. Now, fully vaccinated means if you got a one-shot vaccination, such as the Johnson & Johnson, the one shot is fine. If you received your vaccination from a two-dosage company, let's say Moderna or one of the other two-dose companies, then you are required to have your second dose at least 14 days prior to your sailing. That means between the date it says on the card and the date of your voyage, at least 15 days should have passed. Now, in order to prove your vaccination, you are going to need the original vaccination card. That is the one that says the CDC that your pharmacists fill out when they administer the vaccination. Photocopies of this card are not going to be accepted, guys, so make sure you bring the original. Also, make sure that your name and date of birth match any documentation you have on the sailing with Carnival. If it doesn't match exactly, it won't be accepted. Now, the good news is if it doesn't match exactly, let's say for some reason your pharmacy put your nickname on there, your name's David, and they put Dave, just go back to your pharmacy. They will fill out a new card for you and give you a new original card. It shouldn't be a problem. Now, let's talk about testing, and this is where the most confusion comes in. As a vaccinated guest, and again, this is only for the vaccinated guests, unvaccinated are a little bit different, you will be required to have a negative COVID test no later than two days prior to your sailing. This means, for instance, if you're sailing on a Saturday, you can have your test on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday morning, as long as you're guaranteed to have those test results back by time of sailing. So if you get one on Wednesday or before that, it will not count for your cruise. Now let's talk about where to get those tests. Carnival has a deal with Abbott Labs, which is the largest lab in the country. So you can get your test results done at CVS, Walgreens, or some of the other nationally known pharmacies out there. You can also get it from your physician, as long as your physician uses Abbott Labs, and they will give you an actual test result from Abbott Labs. I personally wouldn't take that chance of using a physician, only because you might only get a doctor's note, and that's not going to be acceptable. And a lot of times, those tests take a lot longer to get back, since your doctor has actually got to send your blood out and wait for it to get back. I have found people that have not been able to board their crews that way. So I would definitely recommend if you're going to get it done at a lab, go to Walgreens CVS. Now, they offer several different kinds of tests there. 
you want to get the rapid antigen test. This is a test where you're going to receive the results back within hours. Typically, they call you with the results, and then they email you the original certificate saying that you're negative. Hopefully, you're negative. Those will be acceptable. You'll be able to show that original certificate on your phone or smart device and show that you were negative as your test. I would also recommend printing out a copy and bringing a copy with you if you're someplace where you can print out a copy. Now, when I say you can go to Walgreens or CVS, I am not talking about the over-the-counter tests. I'm talking about the test where you go to their minute clinic and a nurse actually comes out and administers the test. They take the swab, they put it up your nose, they put it in a sealed container, they bring it back, and they run it through their lab. That counts as a fully administered test. If you get one of the over-the-counter tests where you bring it home and do it yourself, those will not, I can not stress this enough, those are not acceptable by Carnival to board your cruise ship. Now, Carnival does have a couple at-home tests that you can use, and we're going to talk about those right now. The first one, which I'm going to put on the screen right there, is from Abbott Labs. And by the way, just a keynote, a link to where you can purchase these tests are in the description of this video. I don't make anything on these. These are links directly to the lab that will send you the test. So the first one is Abbott Labs. They are going to give you two tests for $69 plus applicable taxes. They will send it to your home. It'll arrive in a cardboard box. You can open that box, but do not open the actual tests themselves. It will say it right on the test. If you open the test, you will void the test out and it will not be accepted by Carnival. And I'll explain to you how these tests work in a second. The second one is by Inspire and that's over here. Inspire is going to give you one test for $45. So if you're traveling single, you can save a couple dollars. Um, if you're traveling with two or more, I would definitely recommend getting the test. That's two tests for 69 because you're going to spend less money. So what makes these tests different than the ones you get at Walgreens or CVS or the supermarket? The difference is these tests are administered by a healthcare professional at telehealth. So what will happen is you'll take out your smartphone and you're going to scan a barcode that is on the outside of the test. When you do that, it's going to bring you to a website. That website is going to ask you for information such as your names, your birth date, your address, etc. One caveat on this is make sure you fill that information in correctly. Double check it before you hit submit, because if you make a mistake, even as much as one day off on your birthday, the test will not be accepted by Carnival, and you'll have to have a whole new test. The lab won't fix the results and fix that date for you. So make sure you have all that information correct. So again, when you open these tests, you're going to scan the test. You're going to fill out the information. And then somebody from telehealth is actually going to come onto your phone they're going to have you scan the test. They're going to talk you through opening tests. Also, don't get ahead of them. I know you think you might know how to use the test, and you very well may. But if you go ahead of them, you'll also avoid the test. So they're going to tell you exactly what to do in stages. They're going to have you scan the test several times along the way to make sure that you're the actual one taking the test. They're going to scan your identification, so make sure you have your ID card handy. And then they're going to monitor the results and scan the test again to make sure you're giving them the correct test for the results. There's no charge for the telehealth portion of the test. It's included in the price of the test. And that simply stated is the reason why it's accepted by Carnival. Carnival has a deal with telehealth. They know that telehealth is going to make sure that it's you who actually took the test. And they're going to make sure the test is negative. If they just took the regular over-the-counter test without the telehealth, then anybody who passed positive would just simply give it to a relative. Hey, take this test for me. Make it come out negative. And that would be how they do it. And unfortunately, that's not good enough to get on a cruise ship. So the at-home tests right now, these are the only ways to do an at-home test within the two days. Again, you have to do it within the two days prior to your booking. Now, certain ports, and I definitely won't, don't want to rely on this, certain ports are going to offer testing at the port based upon availability for $100 per person. It's that based upon availability that really scares me. If they run out and you don't have a test, you won't be able to board your cruise ship. Plus, why would you want to pay $100 when you can get two tests for $69 or one test for $45 and have it in advance? Now, one also thing that I recommend, if you're traveling with a large group of people, have at least one extra test. It's rare, but these tests can have a false positive. So if you were to get a positive test result, you can take another test and say make sure that it's positive. Because if you don't have that, odds are you're going to be too late to get a test 
that's acceptable to Carnival to retest prior to your cruise. So the takeaway from this, guys, and this is the question I get all the time, is even though I state that you can't use the over-the-counter test from your local drugstore, people still want to do that and don't understand it. The takeaway from this is please, please, please understand that the over-the-counter tests at your drugstore are not acceptable. Even if they have the telehealth, they are not acceptable. So don't buy a test that you can take home from your drugstore or I promise you will be missing your cruise on embarkation day. So now let's talk about those of you who are unvaccinated and already have a waiver for Carnival to travel as an unvaccinated guest. For this purposes, we are only going to talk about testing. I'm not talking about any of the other avenues of your cruise as far as bubble tours and things of that nature and travel insurance that you already know of from what Carnival sent you. We're only going to talk about the testing here. Now, the main difference between your test and the test for those who are vaccinated are the times of your test. You must be tested within 72 hours and 24 hours of your cruise. That is the window that you must be tested. You can't test the day of your cruise. It will not be acceptable. You must have those with the exact same companies or the exact same ways that I mentioned for the vaccinated guests. The same two tests are available to you, or you can use CVS or Walgreens as long as the nurse comes out and administers a test. Those rules are exactly the same as I said for vaccinated guests. You're also going to be charged $150 on top of that by the cruise line. They will put it on your sail and sign account on board the ship, and that's going to cover additional vaccinations. They're going to test you again when you get on board. They're going to test you again when you get off the ship, and they may even test you during the voyage, particularly if your voyage is over 10 days. You're definitely going to be tested again. You're going to be tested a lot if you're one of those cruisers who are cruising with an unvaccinated exception. But again, the takeaway from this is you must do that test within 72 hours and 24 hours. Again, this is only for the unvaccinated guests who already have a waiver from Carnival to travel unvaccinated. Now, a lot of the questions I got on this, so there's some people out there that say that they've already had COVID and because of that, they will continue to test positive for six months. I personally don't know much about this, except to say that you must have a negative test to travel on Carnival. So for some reason you have, you cannot get a negative test. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to travel on board Carnival. So that is our vaccination and testing requirements. I hope you guys all got what you need out of this. And believe me, it's only $69. Just buy the test. You've already, you've already invested thousands of dollars in your cruise. $69 isn't going to kill you. So get that test. Be positive that, that Carnival is keeping us all safe. You know, and I get that there are going to be a few passengers that this affects who aren't going to be able to cruise. And I do feel for you because, as you know, I love cruising and I want to meet all of you on board. But the cruise lines and not just Carnival, all of the cruise lines right now are under the better play it safe than sorry. You know, they were out of business for 17 months and they can't afford for that to happen to them again. And if that means that some guests can't come on board just for the fear that they might spread COVID, then that's what the cruise lines are going to do. And for those of you who are able to come on board, you'll have the peace of mind of knowing that the vast majority of people on your cruise ship are going to be vaccinated fully and tested negative upon boarding the cruise ship. And in the unlikely event somebody does test positive, they will quarantine those people to a specific area of the cruise ship so it doesn't spread like wildfire like when cruising first started. By and large, since we started sailing again post-COVID, the infection rate on board a cruise ship has been very, very small. Your odds of getting COVID on board a cruise ship are extremely small. But in the event you do, like I said, there are lots of things the cruise lines have in place to keep you safe until you can get back to the States and see a good doctor. I would also recommend getting the travel insurance. Carnival's travel insurance does cover COVID. So if you're traveling with Carnival, get the travel insurance. Again, it's going to be about 100 bucks or so, depending on the length of your voyage. But should you need that insurance, it will be well worth it. So that is it for today, guys. As always, like I said before, please, I implore you, click that subscribe button. Click the little bell notification. It really does mean a lot to us to see our numbers grow. Also, if you like our channel and you really want to be advanced on when news breaks, send me a text with the word CRUISE to 305-574-9213. It's totally free and we'll text you every time we put up a video 
or even when news comes out in the cruise industry, you'll be amongst the first to know. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you very soon up on the Lido deck.